excuse the mess, this is my man lab or yeah, it's my retreat anyway, this is where I build stuff so I put some of it up to hide all the crap behind it <laughs> actually it's not crap, I just don't want you to see it so anyway, this is the e-bike um, excuse the noise, I've got my batteries discharging this is where the batteries go, um, these come off and then I've got a triangular piece here for the batteries to sit here that comes off, that's actually, that cable ties or zip ties through there and there which you probably can't see because the bike's black, all the bits are black anyway that goes on there, cable ties, zip ties go across there and then that one goes on the top like that and the batteries sit on there now the ESC or the speed controller or whatever is here which is in a case at the minute um, that is going because I've got another one um, it's an Infineon something 120 amp speed controller I think it is 96 volts and I've also got a new wheel for it because I've got the biking bug I've done about 120 mile on this already I think anyway the new wheel is an 11.9 kilowatt uh, just to put that into perspective a 125cc motorbike is 11 kilowatts uh, top speed really don't know I'm not going to go top speed, believe me. This has got enough power if you want to go around town or, you know, but I need to get up hills at the same speed as I go along the flat, and this just doesn't kick it. Uh, there's the wheel, which is an uh, 1500 watt, it's not a 2 kilowatt. Uh, basically, I was over vaulting it um, with that speed controller, I was running it at 72 volts instead of the 48. So that's what made that give it 45 mile an hour. So what I'm going to do now is I'm keeping these, I'm keeping that. The speed controller is going to be mounted here as the other one was, which I'm just printing now, which is the other noise that you can hear in the background. So when I've done that, I'll come back. While I think about it, your dropouts on the back here with this wheel it was too wide to actually get in these dropouts I don't know what the dimension of these were what the, what the space in between the dropouts was but it wasn't enough one of the reasons why I got a steel frame is because I can bend it and it won't have much effect on the strength um, with aluminium ones you, you bend them, you bend them, you bend them they start cracking with steel it doesn't as much and someone's going to slag me off for something there <laughs> anyway so what I had to do was I had to bend that um, basically lie, lie, lie the bike on its side put one foot on that side and pull on this side and just splay it out a bit uh, and that probably had to be splayed out about 10mm I think it was but now it fits perfectly and there's no cracks in the frame I check it every single time I come home absolutely perfect so I've got this other one that I'm going to fit um, where's my display this is the old display which I'm not going to be using because this won't handle 96 volts I've got the cycle analyst which I can't remember where I've put it which I'm going to be fitting so I'll come back when I've done some of it this is my e-bike, which isn't finished yet, deja vu anyone, there is a MX US Muxus 3 kilowatt wheel which can actually handle 12 kilowatts and there we have an 18 FET uh, Lian, uh, Lian something controller that will handle 90 amps at 72 volts there we have my tattoo batteries and here we have a cycle analyst um, which gives you the battery voltage uh, miles an hour uh, how many watts it's using and the temperature of the motor that's how many miles I've been 
and that's how many ampere hours I've actually used. On here, there's a kill switch. It's in Mandar Mandar Mandarin, Mandanese, I don't know, anyway. Kill switch and a speed switch. We've got three settings. Number one is okay, number two is ridiculous, and number three is totally unridable. When I switch that to number two, uh, the front wheel comes up at 40 mile an hour. If I do it at number three, the front end just won't go down at full speed. It's just, it, the front end li actually lifts up at 30 mile an hour in the first, spet it, first setting. I've got a twist throttle, which I'm not going to twist. I've uprated the wheel bearings to titanium bearings, just in case. Uh, the brakes are still standard, but they're okay, they stop. I've actually got regen braking enabled, so when I take my hand off the throttle, um, the brake comes on, the rear brake, it's actually attached to the wheel, the blah blah blah, it's regen braking basically, just to save the brakes. And as you can tell, I've not quite finished it yet because I've got loose wires here. This goes into this switch here. Um, I've got lights on here. Which are £1.50 each, so I've got two of them. So as people can bloody see me coming, because I get a lot of people pulling out on me because they look at it and say, oh, it's a push bike. Um, I've got ones on the back as well, there's two on the back. They're only £1.50 and they're rechargeable. Uh, you just plug them in a USB um, socket and they charge up. Mug guards got from Alford. The Alfords, uh, you definitely need them because of all the mud splattering. The tyres, this is the same size tyre as actually goes on a Honda 90, I think it is. Um, that's the widest possible tyre I could get in because of the clearance down here, which I'm a bit pissed off about. So what I'm thinking of doing is my next one will be a 29 inch, a bike for 29 inch wheels. So as I can have that, it'll come out about there, whatever, you know what I mean? And then I can get a wider tyre on it because I've got some wider ones. They're only pumped up to 35 psi. And this is just a standard Kenda one on the front, or Kendra, whatever it is, um, down to 35 psi because the bumps when you hit them at 40 50 mile an hour is quite jarring. I've got a full face crash helmet, which people look at you and as if to say, <laughs> I have been called a dickhead once. <laughs> it don't matter. The other thing I did was took I took the derailleur off the front gear, so I've only got the centre of the three now, which is basically all I need. Um, I had to take it off. Why did I have to take it off? Can't remember, but I took it off. It will do 40 all day, no problem at all, under any terrain, uphill, downhill, on the flat, everything. So I'm going to do some endurance testing because ultimately I want to run this to work. But we'll, we'll see anyway. Oh, incidentally I've got four batteries here. Um, but I'm only using three in series to give me the 72 volts. The other one is just because it's in the case and it's there. Um, I'm thinking of actually going up to 84 volts. Um, so I may have to take one of the cells out of each of these batteries to make it 20S. Any questions? You know where to put them. Right. See the speed I was completely wrong. Totally, totally, totally wrong.
Now I've put these um, knoblies back on, it's a lot smoother. Hell of a lot smoother, and the front end's coming up! Here we go!